Hey everybody, I'd like to show you my new method for how a player can walk around a planet. So here's what I've done to it so far. The player can walk around a planet. They can also jump and gravity will affect them no matter where they are on the planet. And lastly, if you keep hitting the jump button, you'll be able to exit and enter the moon. Looks like we are in orbit. There we go. Yep, and then you'll be able to make it back to Earth, no problem, and your orientation will be fixed. So, let's see how I made it. Let's start with the main key components we'll be using with this project. The first one is a rigid body. We'll be using this for the player because it's less complex because all the physics are free. We don't have to code a lot of the complex relationships between the rigid body and the planet. We'll be using an area node for the planet's gravity. That's because it's got this neat little feature called a gravity point. This is great for pulling rigid bodies towards a center point of the area node. And lastly, we'll be using a static body for the main planet, and that will provide the collider so that the player can have a ground on the planet. Okay, next, the steps for walking around the planet. Step one, we're going to get the direction vector between the player and the center of the planet. That'll give us a nice line from the planet to wherever the player is, and that will be the new gravity vector. And we'll align that player's y-axis, which is from the player's feet to the head, we'll align that vector with the direction vector. And that's just one line of code, and that's it. Now the player will always be standing upright, no matter where they are on the planet. And this works in three dimensions. Next, I'm going to provide a visual example because my dumb brain works way better with pictures. So we start with the planet, which is a static body. Then we'll add the area node, which is that red dot. We always want that to be at the center of the planet. And then that red outline circle is the area's collider. So if any rigid body is within that collider, everything will start falling towards that center point. And it won't actually hit the center point, it'll hit the static body planet first. And then we'll have a player, and then the direction vector between the center of the planet and the player will be shown here. And then the player will align with that direction vector, and that's how it works. And now we can copy this planet and we can put it anywhere else in the scene, we can make multiple copies, and it will work for any object. So if the player happens to leave the red outline, so the area collider, then the player is no longer being affected by gravity until it enters a new planet's area's collider. And don't forget to turn off gravity in the editor settings so that when the player <laughs> is not being affected by an area node, there will be no extra forces acting on the player as if they were just swimming through space going off to the next planet. I'd like to share some of the key parts of the code. So we are in the player rigid body script right now and I want to show you the gravity direction so that's the vector from the center of the planet to the player so all we need is the planet's global transform origin, and we subtract that from the player's global transform origin. Uh, all that means is, is position, basically. And then we'll normalize it because we're only interested in the direction and not so much the length. And then next we have our walk around planet state. And see, it's only one line of code. All we have to do is align the player's y-axis and we're using transform basis because we want the player's local y-axis 
and all we got to do is make that equal to the gravity direction that we calculated above. So to make a player walk around the planet, all you really need is two lines of code. And then the movement is pretty standard. Um, oh, and I did add a function. Uh, every area node, so every planet, will be able to set the planet's name so that the gravity direction will always have a reference to that new planet. So every time a player enters a planet, uh, the name will be ready. So you can check that out in the code. Uh, I, I left it pretty simple. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Uh, take a look at the code, play around with it. Let me know if you have any questions, just post in the comments. And I can't wait to see what you guys can create with this. Thank you.